Yo, what's up, my fucking peeps? This is how you make a bot. So what you're going to want to do is go here to this website. This is where the bot is. These are the files that you need. So in order for this to work, though, you're going to need to have Python on your computer. So fucking download that. right here just type in python go to downloads and download the latest version like this one right here you're going to want to download and install that into your computer i already have it so i'm not going to do it but i'm sure you guys have installed things before it's pretty straightforward then once you have python installed you're going to want to install pip so pip is what you're going to need to use to install the other shit for the bot so how to install pip let's see windows or you, if you're on another system you just type whatever operating system you're in right here it says a little guide how to do it um yeah, just you got to open a command prompt, one of these bad boys. You can do that by pressing CMD, command prompt, and then here you go. And then you're going to copy, like, if you're on Windows, you're going to type this into your command prompt, hit enter. And then after that, you're going to copy this one paste it into your command prompt hit enter it's going to show you this shit and then yeah that'll be it you don't need to do all this shit this is just like verifying it but after you get pip and python then you're ready to download this this shit so you go right here to this website this is where the bot's at um you click code download zip it's going to download this shit. Um, then you're going to open it. And you want to extract it. So right here. We're going to do extract to. And then that. It's going to make a folder once you extract it. Then this folder is going to have all the files for the bot. So right here. You're going to want to open it and there's gonna be a what do you call it where is it at right here you're gonna open with and I know you guys aren't gonna have Visual Studio Code if you haven't done this before but this is what I used you can also use like notepad that works just fine so you're gonna see some code it might look scary to some of you but don't worry it's fine what we're f focusing on is this shit right here the workers you see how there's like a workers and then after that it has all this info each one of these things in brackets like so this is one of them from this bracket to this one that's gonna be one account that you're gonna put in there as like an alt account that's gonna be placing the blocks and then here you go you see another one right here these are all the different accounts you're going to want to use and you could have like i guess this bot supports up to something like 10 or 15 i think 10 will be fine for most people or if you have less alt accounts that's fine too you could have like two doesn't matter but as many alt accounts as you have you're gonna put them here by replacing this shit like worker one username this is just an example you're going to replace it with the actual username of the alt that you created and then right here you're going to replace that with the password of the alt you know what i mean and this is just saying where on the image you're going to need to want to start the alt so it can start its search Basically, you can leave them all at zero where they'll start at the same place 
or if you want to start them at different positions on the little image I'm about to show you guys uh, you can do that too but if you don't want to worry about that just leave them at zero it's fine it'll still work but yeah so all your alts you're gonna enter for each one of them they go into their own little bracket and username and if you have more than two because right here it's only two all you got to do is copy this control C and then control V as many alts as you have I did 10 of them but you guys might not have that many it's okay and so once you have enough spaces just fill in the info make sure it's the username and the passwords are all for each of the alts that you have and then once that's all good you're gonna save it you can do control s to save or whatever and then once it's saved I'm not gonna save this but once you save it you're gonna rename this because right now it says config underscore example you're just gonna take off the underscore example part and so it's just config.json and then that's gonna make it official that's gonna make it to where the bot can actually use it so once you do that you're good to go like all your alt account and information is in this file right here and that's all you gotta mess with all these other files don't worry about them they're just for the bot but if you're wondering how do I create alts I'm sure you guys can already figure that out right here is a good website to use fakemailgenerator.com that's what I used I made like 10 different accounts just like in a span of like an hour because it does make you wait like five minutes sometimes before you make a new account so I just waited or whatever and I made 10 of them and so that's what I used for my bot I just made 10 alts got all the info you know password username email you don't really need the emails for the bot though what you need is just the password and username so once you have like enough alts and you don't need 10 you could have two but you know 10 would be more effective so once you have all your alts you're good to go you put them in that config file that I just showed you right here you put them in there like how I showed you earlier and then once you do that now what you want to do is open up the CMD because now we're gonna start the bot we're gonna put it online so you could do CMD open that shit and you're gonna type CD space and this folder where all these files are it's this one so it's right here this folder you just drag it and it automatically enters the path of where that folders at you're gonna hit enter and so now you're in basically that means the command prompt is now in that folder to work in so once you're in that folder in the command prompt this is all you're gonna do to start the bot you're gonna do start dot bat and once you hit enter the bots gonna go online and it's gonna start trying to place blocks um, with those alt accounts that you have in that file that I showed you so yeah that's pretty much it you know what I mean oh wait hold on that's not it I'm sorry you do also need an image a reference image to set up so that's gonna be um, what it has to be is an image that is the exact dimensions the exact number of pixels that um, that the we have for our space on the r slash place canvas so what you're gonna want to do is I'll link it somewhere in the discord and you'll be able to find it um, it's this one right here. This is what I'm using. Where is it? Cardi face. So right here. I focused all my 10 bots on just this part of the image because this is the part that keeps getting fucked up. So all my bots are focused on here because that's really where all that madness is happening. You know what I mean? 
but you guys can put whatever section you want to focus on or the whole image it doesn't matter but you do need one of these images to put inside of the the bot the file right here because when you download it let me show you when you download it originally it's gonna have a uh, image.jpg but this is just a blank image it's just like a it's a placeholder for the image that we're going to put in there which is this one right here so you want to delete that once you download this you're going to delete this and then you're going to have the image that I, you get that's linked from the discord or your own image that you made or whatever basically wherever you want the bot to draw onto the canvas that's the image you're going to use so like for instance this image right here i'm going to put it in here so now instead of using a blank image we have the image that we're going to use but in order to actually use it let's see open with notepad so this is referencing the original image that it came with when he downloaded it but now the one that we have in there it's called uh cardi face section so we got to change the name so it can read the correct image there you go and then this right here these coordinates are the place on the canvas the actual canvas on our place where the top left corner of your image starts at so you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself if you're gonna use a different image than the one that I'm linking on the discord you're gonna have to figure those coordinates where the top left corner is of your image is gonna be like you're gonna have to just basically count or you know look at the reference and do the math or whatever but for the one that I'm linking it's 741 610 those are where the top left of this image starts at on the actual reddit canvas page so yeah once you have all this set up and then of course these are going to be your bot accounts your alt accounts once all that's set up and you have the image uh replaced with the image you're going to use and these coordinates set up now you're ready okay so now you're ready to send the bot online so again we're gonna like i showed you you got to do cd and then drag and drop the folder where the bot files are and then once you do that to send it online you type start dot bat and then that's going to send the shit online right now it's giving me errors because i haven't actually done the shit i'm just showing you guys as an example but if you've done it correctly, you won't see any of this. It'll just look like this, actually. This one is the bot that I'm running right now. It's the one that's online. And as you can see, it says succeeded placing pixel. And it tells you where it placed it using all the different accounts that I have. You see, some of them fail because I guess that just happens with some accounts. Reddit detects them and it fails. But it's still worth a shot, you know to have as many alt accounts as you can with this bot so i hope that helps you guys get this shit going we gotta protect cardi man he's looking like a fucking goblin out there dudes all right peace